Corpus Hermeticum Book 11 Part 2 Yeah, rather going out of the body, he shall be guided and led by them, both into the choir and society of the gods, and blessed ones. Tat. Do not other living creatures use speech father? Hermes. No son, but only voice, now speech and voice do differ exceeding much, for speech is common to all men, but voice is proper unto every kind of living thing. Tat. Yes, but the speech of men is different. Father, every man according to his nation. Hermes. It is true son, they do differ, yet as man is one so is speech one also, and it is interpreted and found the same, both in Egypt, Persia, and Greece. But you seem to me son, to be ignorant of the virtue or power, and greatness of speech. For the blessed God, the good demon said or commanded the soul to be in the body, the mind, in the soul, the word, or speech, or reason in the mind, and the mind in God, and that God is the father of them all. Therefore the word is the image of the mind, and the mind of God, and the body of the idea, and the idea of the soul. Therefore of the matter, the subtlest or smallest part is air, of the air the soul, of the soul the mind, of the mind God. And God is about all things, and through all things, but the mind about the soul, the soul about the air, and the air about the matter. But necessity, and providence, and nature, are the organs or instruments of the world, and of the order of matter. For of those things that are intelligible, every one is but the essence of them in identity. But of the bodies of the whole, or universe, every one is many things. For the bodies that are put together, and that have, and make their changes into other, having this identity, do always save and preserve the uncorruption of the identity. But in every one of the compound bodies, there is a number. For without number it is impossible there should be consistence or constitution, or composition, or dissolution. But unities do both beget and increase numbers, and again being dissolved, come into themselves. And the matter is one. But this whole world, the great God, and the image of the greater, and united unto him, and conserving the order and will of the Father, is the fullness of life. And there is nothing therein, through all the eternity of the revolutions, neither of the whole, nor of the parts which clothes not live. For there is nothing dead, that either has been, or is, or shall be in the world. For the Father would have it as long as it lasts, to be a living thing, and therefore it must needs be God also. How therefore Son, can there be in God, in the image of the universe, in the fullness of life, any dead things. For dying is corruption, and corruption is destruction. How then can any part of the incorruptible be corrupted, or of God be destroyed? Tat. Therefore Father, do not the living things in the world die, though they be parts thereof. Hermes. Be wary in your speech son, and not be deceived in the names of things. For they do not die son, but as compound bodies they are dissolved. But dissolution is not death, 
and they are dissolved, not that they may be destroyed, but that they may be made new. Tat. What then is the operation of life? Is it not motion? Hermes. And what is there in the world unmovable? Nothing at all sun. Tat. Why, could not the earth seem unmovable to you, father? Hermes. No, but subject to many motions, though after a manner it alone be stable. What a ridiculous thing it were, that the nurse of all things should be unmovable, which bears and brings forth all things. For it is impossible, that anything that brings forth, should bring forth without motion. And a ridiculous question it is, whether the fourth part of the whole, be idle, for the word immovable, or without motion, signifies nothing else, but idleness. No generally son, that whatsoever is in the world is moved either according to augmentation or diminution. But that which is moved, lives also, yet it is not necessary, that a living thing should be or continue the same. For while the whole world is together, it is unchangeable, O son, but all the parts thereof are changeable. Yet nothing is corrupted or destroyed, and quite abolished but the names trouble men. For generation is not life, but sense, neither is change death, but forgetfulness, or rather occultation, and lying hid. Or better thus. For generation is not a creation of life, but a production of things to sense, and making them manifest. Neither is change death, but an occultation or hiding of that which was. These things being so, all things are immortal, matter, life, spirit, soul, mind, whereof every living thing consists. Every living thing therefore is immortal, because of the mind, but especially man, who both receives God, and converses with him. For with this living being alone is God familiar, in the night by dreams, in the day by symbols or, signs. And by all things could he foretell him of things to come, by birds, by fowls, by the spirit, or wind, and by an oak. Wherefore also man professes to know things that, have been, things that are present, and things to come. Consider this also son, that every living creature goes upon one part of the world, swimming things in water, land beings upon the earth, flying fowls in the air. But man uses all these, the earth the water, the air, and the fire, no, he sees and touches heaven by his sense. But God is both about all things, and through all things, for he is both act and power. And it is no hard thing son, to understand God. And if you will also see him, look upon the necessity of things that appear, and the providence of things that have been, and are done. See the matter being most full of life, and so great a God moved with all good, and fair, both gods, and demons, and men. Tat. But these father, are holy acts or operations. Hermes. If they be therefore holy acts or operations, O son, by whom are they acted or operated, but by God? Or are you ignorant, 
that as the parts of the world are heaven and earth and water and air after the same manner the members of God are life and immortality and eternity and spirit and necessity and providence and nature and soul and mind and the continuance or perseverance of all these which is called good and there is not anything of all that has been and all that is where God is not tat what in the matter father Hermes the matter son what is it without God that you should ascribe a proper place to it or what do you think it to be perhaps some heap that is not actuated or operated but if it be actuated by whom is it actuated for we have said that acts or operations are the parts of God by whom are all living things quickened and the immortal by whom are they immortalized the things that are changeable by whom are they changed whether you speak of matter or body or essence know that all these are acts of God and that the act of matter is materiality and of the body's corporality and of essence essentiality and this is God the whole and in the whole there is nothing that is not God wherefore about God there is neither greatness place quality figure or time for he is all and the all through all and about all this word son worship and adore and the only service of God is not to be evil.